Hello everyone and welcome back! Before starting to transform our Angular application into an Angular Universal application, let's learn about the reasons on why would we want to do that in the first place. Why Angular Universal? What are the main benefits? In order to understand the advantages of Angular Universal, let's switch here to a larger window where we can inspect our page using the Chrome DevTools. Let's then go over the first reason for using Angular Universal. Probably the most common reason for doing server-side rendering is performance. Let's have a look for example at this application. This is an Angular single-page application that is fetching all its data from Firestore. Now, whenever we refresh the application, we are going to see that after we get here this initial blank page, it still takes a moment for us to see some data on the screen. We could see that we had there a lag of several seconds, but let's remember that we are running this application in development mode. Let's then measure the time for first render on this application when we run it in production mode. Let's switch over to our IDE, we are going to head over here to the terminal and we are going to serve the application in production mode. In order to do that, we are going to run the command ngServe-prod. This is going to build our Angular application in production mode and it's going to start the development server. So we can see here that we already get the warning that we don't use this server in production because it's meant for development purposes. After a while the production build is going to be completed and we can see that this is indeed the production build because we are going to have here these hashed files as the output. That gives them a unique name. So if we now switch back to the browser and we reload the application, we are now going to have the application running in production mode and as we can see the data was displayed a bit faster than before. But let's measure exactly how fast. We are going to head over here to the performance tab and we are going to profile our application with screenshots. So we are going to stop the profiler at the moment that we see the full application. Let's now try to measure when did we have data to display to the user. Around here the 1 second and 300 milliseconds mark, we can see that the application was fully rendered. We can see that we have here on the screenshot all the course cards and of course the images are still being downloaded from the localhost server, that's still going to take some time. So the application ended up rendering here at around the 4 second mark, but we can see that the Angular application remained as a blank page up until the 1 second and 100 milliseconds or 200 milliseconds mark and that the application was fully rendered at the level of the DOM at around 1.2 seconds. And this is the best case scenario where we are serving the JavaScript bundles from local servers, so there is almost no network overhead. Let's switch here to the Network tab and have a look here at the production bundles of this Angular Material application. We can see here the CSS bundles and the JavaScript bundles of this application. So these files would take a lot longer to download in a production application not running on localhost and we would have an initial rendering time much higher than 1.2 seconds. So this is the first reason on why would we want to use Angular Universal to show some content to the user as fast as possible. This is essential especially on mobile devices. Let's remember this page that gets served initially is essentially empty. If we do view page source and we have a look here at the HTML that got sent from the server, we can see that this is a completely empty page with just a couple of script tags and a CSS bundle. We can see here that the only HTML that we have here is the application root component, which is empty, and that explains this blank page that we can see here on the performance tab. This initial blank page happens because there is nothing to show to the user at this point in time. At this point we only have the source that came from the server and this does not contain any HTML and also it does not contain any CSS because have a look, here is the bundle with all the CSS that still needs to arrive from the server. 
with Angular Universal, we are going to improve a lot this situation. We are going to bring back from the server a lot more HTML and CSS. We are going to be able to display to the user this initial page faster. So this is the first reason for using Angular Universal for improving the perceived startup performance of our application.